Hello and welcome to Chase the Veil. Today we're going to talk about the best things we've seen at a wedding or wedding reception. Um, I'd like to introduce our, my colleagues. I'm Krista Tharp with Tharp Events and Blissfully Simple Wedding Planning. I'm Jennifer Rossi with Rossi's Catering in the Continental Ballroom. Mike Wise with Mike Wise Photography. Chef Joanne Rossi with Rossi's Catering in the Continental Ballroom. And we'll start with Krista. Oh, you would start with me. Yeah. Um, being a wedding planner, I see a lot of different things. A lot of the things that I really like are during the ceremony because sometimes people forget about the ceremony and the significance of it. We have a favorite pastor here who um, is, he's kind of like a dark Santa Claus. It's kind of big big man. Anyways, he's very, very dark com co what, complected. What? Yeah, he's dark hair. <laughs> Sorry, Young I meant that. And yeah, not dark like evil. evil. <laughs> That's, no, 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 no. I didn't mean to <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> But ooh, ooh, we love ooh. festivals. So anyways, he, he likes to bring a lot of fun into a ceremony. And I've seen him do really neat things. And I, I really like it when he does the rock ceremony, which is um, the bride and groom will go out and buy any type of rocks, whether it be a pebble or river rocks are my favorite. And they will either hand them to the people with the programs as they come in, or they'll be place, placed on each seat. And at some point during the ceremony, he will have each of the guests hold the rock and they will all say a prayer over the Sorry. over the rock. What the rock? They're not going to throw it. I was it at thinking them. the whole time. I'm just thinking. And then they yeah, stone then they the bride. No, they do not stone the bride. Sorry. No, they do not stone the bride. But they all hold it and they say a prayer. And um, at the end, we collect those rocks and we put it in a vase for them, and they can put their unity candle in it. I absolutely love that. The guests love that. They think it's fabulous. So that's one of my my favorite things. Another thing that he also did. I saw it a ceremony is while the bridesmaids were walking down the aisle they had the bride pre-record something and the groom about that person and it sounds strange but it was done very very lightly and the attendants didn't know it so as they were walking down the aisle there was Chrissy was my best friend in college. Oh, she got cool. me that through this, neat. and boom, 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 boom. You know, and it was a surprise to them, which was wonderful. Um, and it was something that everybody else got to see. And of course, there's a lot more, uh, but that I really like. I like the creativity put into the ceremony as well as the reception. I think one of my favorite things that I see at weddings that your guests love, you're the superhero when you do, is children's buffet. Mm -hmm when brides offer a children's buffet, you know, if, if you're serving fish and beef, you know, kids are like, ugh, can I have a roll? You know, you, you're just sold somebody a golden roll. Yeah. But if you do a children's buffet and the kids get to go separate and it has food they like, man, suddenly you're the hero mm -hmm. to every parent in that room. And I just think that's great. I love that. Do you want to take it next? Okay. Um, I think for me, a lot of times it's just looking at different you know, some of my favorite moments are just looks. You know, diff different things that I see brides give, you know, the groom a look, or, or even if it's, you know, the groom looking at the bride and just that, you know, just that way of just knowing that day that is just like a huge moment to them. And so many times, you know, and I think that's being a guy, I think a lot of times when I see the guy actually let down that guard of, you know, this is emotional for me and, you know, I had a groom this summer that, I mean, he read read a card, you know, that basically from the bride, and I mean, I'm back away from him, but yeah, I mean, it was like he did not hesitate to just, I mean, he was crying, and, you know, and, and he was like, I'm sorry, and I'm like, you know, you don't have anything to apologize about, but I think that's the thing is looking at the different things that happen through the day that are just mm -hmm. those moments. Those of, real moments. Yeah, it is. I mean, it's so it's so touching for me when I see that people are letting their guard down, you know, just not not trying to, okay, this is, I'm fine, I'm, you know, the tough guy, and I'm not going not gonna to show any emotion mm -hmm. and that kind of thing. Mm -hmm. I don't get to see what everybody else sees because I'm in the kitchen, but the best thing I, I like is when the bride and the groom pick the food that they want. They don't have the traditional food. Um, like biscuits and gravy? Like they do biscuits <laughs> and gravy. They'll do a breakfast for dinner or they'll do um, uh, a carnival theme. You know, everything's on a stick like corn dogs and kebabs and um, corn on the cob and stuff. That's probably the best thing. Or when they, they <clears throat> get where people, they have, an, they have their reception and their food is um, different stations so people have to get up and mingle with other guests. That's mm -hmm. what I like. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I 
see. So you that's about all I see sometimes. <laughs> so because you're making the great because I'm making the food, so mm -hmm. I don't get to see what everybody else sees. I think one of the coolest things that's happening right now, and uh, you know, it's always happened to an extent, but now with the do-it-yourself craze, which is fine, um, people are going back to basics and to family and to meaning and getting rid of some of that old stuff that, that is an important, um, there's a really cool thing now um, called a thumbprint family tree. And I saw that, we did we it in New York City. It's yeah, so It's the they coolest thing. Yeah. And um, you could get them done anywhere because now once per, one person's seen it, it's all over the internet. But there's a, a, a bear family tree and it has your name and all this fun stuff. And instead of a guest book, you have a little uh, stamp pad with whatever color you want, it makes more sense with green to me, and a fine tip Sharpie, and you, uh, one of them said it was really, please be kind and, and leave, leaf your thumbprint. Um, and so they all put their thumbprint on the tree and they lightly put their name on it, so it's a family tree. And of course, please do not forget to put little baby wipes there for them to wipe that off. They didn't do that. But, but that's really, but that is really, really a neat thing, because no one, no one, no one looks at the guest book. Just, I'd say, forget the guest book. If you're not gonna, if you're gonna just do a traditional guest book, skip it. But that's one of the things. The biggest thing that I have added in the last year and a half has been the guest book with their engagement session right. pictures. Mm -hmm. Because right. I usually tell them, I'm like, think of the last few times that you've been to a wedding. It's, I, how fast right. can I mm -hmm. sign this? Right. And I don't care if you can read it. You got to get me in there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The people that do the engagement book session and put that into their guest book. It's just one of those where now people are writing in it like they're writing in a yearbook. Yes. I mean, they'll yes. literally like write a them a coffee table book. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so now mm -hmm. it's, not only does it have your guest book tied into your engagement pictures, but then it's got two things mm -hmm. that you're gonna keep right. and then right. probably pretty meaningful that somebody can take the time to actually write a note to you. And mm -hmm. I've had a couple of brides that have said, you know, people put things in that guest book that I don't think they would have ever told me mm -hmm. face to face and mm -hmm. really, really was like touching to them. And, and that's something they can immediately take on their honeymoon too. Yeah. I mean, that's right. something that they can, they can physically take with them, so. I think one other thing that I've seen that probably helps photographers, and I know it helps on the reception end is, you know, everybody wants that moment when they, they first see each other and um, back to this pastor who, mm -hmm. who's done some great things. You know, if, you, if you're on a time schedule, We've seen um, where a pastor will have that first moment together where they, you know, the photographer is the room, is in the room, everything's set as if it were the ceremony, and the bride walks in, the groom is at the front, she walks in, they have that moment, the pastor gives a blessing, they get, so, you know, a few minutes to themselves, and it is so special if you get to witness it, it is just amazing, mm -hmm. and I think it's probably even better than you know, yeah, the walking, walking down, the, down the aisle, the first thing, you know. First it's two thing. separate things. Yes. I think that's the thing that I remember when I got married was I didn't want to be up in front of everybody like crying. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. I thought, you know what, if we do this before, I'm going to be so much more relaxed and then that way I'm not going to be, you know, right. crying right. and mm -hmm. trying to compose myself, that kind of thing. But I think it's one of those where when I tell brides that you see each other before, that's the moment with the two of you. Then you're going to do it again, where you're now sharing it with your mm -hmm. guests. You know, you're mm -hmm. you're doing that moment again. You know, and I kind of sometimes compare it to having a kid with you know finding out what you're going to have. I'm mm -hmm. like, some people think, oh my gosh, I don't want to find out what it is because I want it to be a surprise. I'm like, it's going to be a surprise. No it's going to be a surprise, and it's going to be right. an unbelievable right. blessing mm -hmm. in a moment all in itself, right. whether mm -hmm. you know if it's a boy or a girl. Mm -hmm. And it's kind of the same where you you mm -hmm. do that in the beginning, and you, mm -hmm. you say, oh, it's not. And gonna then be a big it's deal. really about the two of you. Yeah. It is really about the two of you, and that's really, in all of this, you know, all this wedding day, it comes down to it is about the two of you and mm -hmm. your life together. And on a twist of that with the same pastor, of course, because we love him, but, um, but he puts a lot of meaning in. I actually had a bride and groom that were terrified. I mean, they were very stressed and didn't, they were, ex they were just afraid of being in front of people. And that pastor, after the rehearsal dinner, he said, he asked everybody, and I got their permission beforehand to go ahead without them. He actually married them at the rehearsal. After everybody else was gone, he married them. No one else knew, it was their secret, it was, and it put them on, complete ease for the day. So that's a really cool thing. I got two more things. 
Unity candles. Unity candles are, you know, it's not really necessary, but it's a symbolic thing. There are things out there, of course, like sand and stuff that you, that you can do, but there are out, um, prayer crosses out there now that are pretty unique. Um, but the last thing I would say is don't be afraid to bring in your culture. That is the coolest thing. When you bring in your I have had a wedding, a fabulous wedding, very simple, not a huge budget, but they were from Ghana. And um, they, it was very uh, ritualistic and, and cultural. And they, um, you know that the women never got up. The men served all the women. This is guests and everybody. And the mother, no, the aunt prayed the prayer. It was the most amazing thing I've ever seen. Don't be afraid of bringing your culture mm -hmm. in. So. Anything else? I think we got it. I think we're good. Good. Well, thank you for joining us today. And we will see you next time.